my father, his first station was his, in his brother's apartment in Gay, what do you call it, Gay Side or something like it, in Brooklyn. From the beginning, there was a tremendous difference between them. My uncle was a very open person. He showed my father his writing, and he wanted to introduce him to people. My father didn't like this kind of patronage. He was envy, and he decided to move out. My uncle arranged for him a job in Forwards, and the editor of Forwards, Abe Khan, said to him, he was a Buddhist at that time, I want you to write about the Lower East Side, about the sweat shops, about the Jewish proletarian. And my father said, they mean nothing to me. I would like to write about demons, about all kind of spiritual creature. Abe Khan was very unhappy about it. He minimized his job only for once a week to bring some little, uh, little stories about people. My they used to meet, but they were entirely different people. I met Genia, uh, IJ's wife, and she said, uh, many years afterwards, and she said, you were very unfair to your brother. He should have gotten the Nobel Prize before you because he was more capable, and you, but he died when he was 50 years old, and uh, you kidnapped his prize. I told her that I personally liked her, her husband literature much more than my father. I was a socialist living on a kibbutz, believing in socialism, to me, Stalin was a big hero, and uh, I appreciated the real socialistic literature, which means that literature, literature should help building the country. Uh, that's how I.J. Singer wrote about Lodge, about the cotton uh, factories, and I really appreciated. But with my father, I, I couldn't understand the whole business. I once opened, when I was a student, 16 years old, living on a kibbutz, my educator called me and gave me there is Satan from Gorey. I open it on chapter 20. If you have the book open it, you'll see the headline. This kind of pornography. So that's how my father writes. Anyhow, I was very unhappy about him. Uh, I remember my father writing letters to my mother saying that his brother very fast Americanized himself to the style, to the manners, to the habits, and to the language, to the accent, and my father didn't like it. On the other hand, they were in, I would say, correct relationship. 
that when my uncle died, family muscat was printed. He dedicated it to his beloved brother, who he learned from him a lot, and etc., etc. But deep, the deep truth, it was very unstable relations.